morning. Welcome to my channel, Patrick Kia. My friends, coming July, I use the ketogenic journey to lose over 212 pounds. I am not at my low right now, but we are trying to get back there yesterday. Or not yet. Yeah. Yesterday, I was 189. Today, I'm not. Today, not at all. You're going to see why. The scale is a B-I-C-T-H. And, um, why, um... I couldn't fit any of my clothes yesterday, and now they're sagging off of me. Literally. It's called fluid. Fluid. And I have a lot on me. So, that being said, inside this video, since it is day two of Blogmas, you're going to see how I make my keto chow ice cream. Very simple. What I've eaten today. You can have a chit chat. And after the chit chat, you get to watch me put together a $20 tree I got from Walmart with Dollar Tree ornaments with like a couple, I think two ornaments from Walmart that were $2 a piece. So you're about to see me create a little Christmas tree for under $35. That's towards the end of the video. So there are multiple things to be seen tonight and it is after midnight and I'm making my intro now because I forgot to you, and we just watched as a family Jungle Cruise, which was amazing. I thought it was really good. I love The Rock. I love almost any movie he's in, and it was just really refreshing, and we all sat and watched it. And this week, this week, don't miss out on tomorrow's video, where I show you, me and my daughter, and Dino already did it, um, how to make reefs from the Dollar Tree. And then the next day, we have we bought these tiny little trees from the Dollar Tree, literally Christmas tree for dollar, and ornaments to go on it, and put it together, and we're gonna do, how do you make those, right? We are trying to do Christmas things all week long, like Christmas crafts. So, using Dollar Tree stuff because it's cheap, right? I don't want a little crazy, I'm buying a bunch of it, but it's still cheap. You just get a lot for your money, so, uh. Let's get into that video. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you my macros, my sleeps, and my steps from yesterday as well. Okay, so my protein yesterday was 56. That kind of sucked. My fat was 62. My calories, 843, 11 total carbs, and two net carbs. So my app now for sleep breaks it down a little differently since it's a premium member that came with the Fitbit charge five for six months for free so my time of sleep was six hours and 57 minutes 55 minutes of that was awake though my deep and REM sleep was one hour and 37 minutes my restoration um 94% below resting and 10% restless uh, I'm not really sure what all this means yet, so I have to look it all up. And my steps was 10,667. Thank God I got that last step in. That's all I'm going to say. And my readiness score, not sure what that is either. This is all new to me because it's totally new. Um, everything's different with premium. Good morning, babies. Good morning. Good morning, Sharky. You playing? Piper. Good morning, Piper. See so you've been in the bathroom again. We have toilet paper rolls. At least it's the empty ones. Uh-uh, you're not on the counter. Don't start. Good morning, Willow. Good morning. See, we start waking Mommy up at 5 a.m. And we don't even let her go to bed until 3 a.m. She has to get up and feed us. Then she goes back to bed. But then she has to cuddle us for four hours, all three of us. Then we make her wake up and open the windows and doors because it's 60 degrees, which means we get to go outside. As long as it's 55 or not, Mommy has to let us out. And we go play, but see me, Piper. I want out the front door, which does not have a screen yet. But it will seem, Mommy says. She keeps promising. I make her take me for walks inside her jacket, but she's refusing this morning because she's got to go work on the porch. 
which I think is unfair because she always says she's got work on the porch. How much work can one person do on a porch? No, you can't open it yourself. <gasps> nope. I'll take you later. I'll take you later. No, you can wait until later. My sleep is so screwed up. It's not even funny. We don't get to bed until like 3 a.m. And like the kittens told y'all, I wake up multiple times a night because of them. So I usually don't wake up until actually 11 now. Which says I guess after 11 by now. I don't know. I'm having my first collagen coffee. I have to go do some yard work today. So I'll eat when I'm done. <clears throat> I wake up a little nauseous lately. Usually I could always eat bacon and eggs in the morning no matter how my tummy felt. But that's just not something... I don't have time to make the bacon. <clears throat> so I skip breakfast. Every morning, even though I should be eating it because I need more calories, but I'm afraid I'll throw up and get really sick after eating. So... I skip it. <clears throat> um, and I have one pack of bacon left. I still gotta go to the store and buy some more. It is day two of Vlogmas. I saw that everyone started their Vlogmas one day before actual December, but I like to do it the other way around. Um, so it is actually December 2nd, so it's day two of Vlogmas, which means I'm going to try to vlog every single day this month. Um, even if they're only 10 minute videos, I'm going to try to get them up. Oh, sorry about the yawning. So yesterday, and you know, I've been telling you I'm really pissed about the scale because it got to 189, but that, <laughs> barely eating anything. So that's why I've been so angry at the scale. And it's been making it hard to make videos when you're so pissed off. And last night I peed. I have not peed in a long time. And remember, I am taking like four and five ibuprofens a day they are prescriptions and i've been prescribed to take that many a day um and everything else so i barely pee and that's why i feel like i'm drowning because i know for a fact i'm walking around with over 20 pounds of water weight i know i've put on some muscle i know i'm not um walking around with 30 something pounds of water weight um, but I did put on some muscle building and doing all this other stuff. And then I, it looks like I put on some fat, um, which I still don't understand how I did. So that being said, I peed so much. I didn't record it. I should have, um, I peed so terribly much that I woke up a few minutes ago. Without taking all my clothes off, because I normally strip butt naked when I'm going to actually um, weigh, because last night I was butt naked, and I was, my, not yes, yesterday morning I was butt naked, I was 189 and was so angry, and uh, I wasn't just now because <laughs> I knew I was going to see a number I didn't want to see, 182. I peed off 7 point something pounds last night. This is what I'm saying. I keep telling myself, stop getting angry. It's water. I'm not mad whether it's water. Or like, I don't want the water on me. I feel like I'm drowning. So that's my main thing. I'm mad. I didn't just go eat a buffet and get gain this weight for me in tons of food. I am drowning in water. Drowning. And yesterday, I only took one ibuprofen. So... Maybe it's just the ibuprofen doing it to me. And I still have fluid. I still have indents that I can make on my skin. Um. So yeah, I've decided the keto chow, every time I watch some of my old videos, every time I eat or drink keto chow, I, my pain seems to subside a lot. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. I've noticed this a lot. Like, I still have pain, but the difference is huge. The... Waking up grumpy doesn't exist if I had keto chow the night before. I'm not trying to sell you keto chow. I'm telling you that I listened to people who said it was nothing and tasted nasty. And I'm so pissed that I just got it into my diet this year because I love it. I 
absolutely it makes keto so much easier and i feel better after you know drinking or eating it like like i can't even explain the difference and i seem to have big wishes on the days that i um use it yes i've been taking my um any ibuprofen yet so my head's gonna shake like insane no one knows 100 percent they don't know if it's the injury in my arm that goes into my head um, because I still have that injury. It's still torn. Um, they don't know. They told me it could take years of physical therapy to fix it. And C word happened and my physical therapy ended. They, they have no clue. I, we do know that the ibuprofen calms it down drastically. So they think it's swelling inflammation on my nerve. Um, and when I get tense, like upset or tense, I seem to strain that area and my head shakes like a billion times in one minute. It drives me insane. And this time of year, it's always the worst. I mean, we don't know what caused it for sure. It started in October. I got really, really sick at the beginning of November, end of October. And um, I ended up afterwards having a horrible head shaking. Um, and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse, and then it got better, and then more, and, yeah. Yeah, I can't believe it's already 2021, December 2021, it's about to be 2022. The last two years have been a blur. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, all of 21, all of 22 has just really been a blur to me. So many restrictions, so many things you can't do. My daughter being stuck at the house, being concerned about her health and her state of mind, the world's state of mind. Everyone used to, you could be whatever political beliefs you wanted and no one would jump on you. You used to be able to be whatever religion you wanted and no one would jump on you. You used to think for yourself, but not anymore. It seems they want one state of mind and one little robots. Yeah. So, and I'm really tired of hearing breakthrough cases. Because everyone I've known so far, personally, who's gotten, ooh, that's a breakthrough case. My sister and them's on having the C word for the second time. They had it a year ago. Then they got the shots, and then which they got all their shots a year ago. And now, now they got it again. Breakthrough, right? No. No, it's not. Because you can still get it. You can still spread it. The same as everyone else. That's why if you're going to make one group get tested, both groups then get tested because because the other group sometimes don't even have symptoms. So yeah, 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 yeah. You can't have double standards. That's what I'm sick of. This America has become double standards. I know, not political. I'm just saying. It's been a very stressful year for everyone. Because it seems like the world has just become very divided on every matter there is. So, yeah. I've been trying to just focus on here. And those bratty kittens have really been helping. Really been helping. Because this is all they do all day. Me having to yell at them for doing bad things. Hey, just because mommy filmed you doesn't mean you need to stop. There we go. Hi, Willow. So, yeah, in a crazy world, take a moment and watch a pet or a baby or a bird fly through the sky, a flower blowing in the wind, something peaceful, the sunrise or sunset. Something that reminds you there is still beauty in this world, even with all the chaos and craziness going on. There's a TV show. Started with a V. I used to love it. 
until they all became one mind collective. And it used to be everyone had a different opinion, different view, different everything. And now they all preach the same mind. Look what's going on with Dr. Oz. Like, now they don't like him. Really? Really you don't like someone just because they, yeah. So, anyways, yeah, we have to listen to a lot of news here because I saw Dino likes to listen to anything. I didn't listen to the news before he got here because it would stress me out and it would make me sad. And I feel people's emotions and there's a lot of emotions on the news. So, so far, I haven't had to listen to too much of it this morning. Just a little. We haven't even been up that long. So, decided to come talk to y'all for a few minutes. Haven't even drank my coffee yet. About to go do that before I can because all the work we got to do. Um, I can't wait until it's all done. There's a lot of things I need to buy still for my yard because it is like tons of sand and crap is on it. But... That's going to have to wait because these projects cost way more than they were supposed to. My dad totally underestimated how much it was going to cost. He underestimated how many roof panels and boards and he builds as he goes. And I, when someone tells me it's going to be this amount, that's what I go in. But no, he builds as he goes because he doesn't know what he'll need next for the next part. That's not how I build. But, uh, so he came up with a plan, and I put it together, and Dino helped. We put them all together, and Dino's doing the hard work right now, because now we're working on the pergola for the grilling area. So, yeah, there's a grill. I really want a smoker. I am dying to have it Lowe's. I want it so bad. It is so beautiful, because during the spring, even right now, I want to do a lot of keto smoking. Like, I want to smoke a lot of meats and stuff, um... But it's like $600. But I've done so much research. And it's the one I've wanted for over two years. Uh, and it doesn't use electricity. A lot of smokers use electricity. So it is a charcoal grill. And a um, smoker. You put your charcoal or the smoke. Whatever you're going to smoke with. In this one box. And it's a gravity one. And it's so pretty too. It's blue. I wish it was red. But it's still pretty. Uh, so... This whole entire feature I'm building, this thing, is for that in the future when I can get it. So, I've been worried that they'll sell out because it's a, it sold out last year. But so far, they, they've been in, at least a few has been in stock lately. But, I guess I better drink this and get going and um, I'll stop in later. Okay, so my vanilla keto child just came in. I started to make it in this cup. I thought there was some that wouldn't pour in my container. I was like, we'll mix it up for ice cream later. Um, but it turned out to be two whole scoops, so I had to move it into the bigger container, um, which come to find out the vanilla is only 44 point something to equal a serving. So there is 88 something in here, and also 28 ounces of water is in it as well. Now I'm about to melt some butter. Right now, we are going to melt some butter. I got my Kerrygold butter. Let me bring y'all up higher so you can see what I'm actually doing. I think I'm going to need a new camera thing. This one just, it's so old, it's just leaning badly. Okay, so <clears throat> we're going to melt some butter really fast. I usually put two tablespoons in this, two of them. We are going with six because I am trying to get more calories in. And I'm just going to melt this really fast in the microwave. Tasted it. It's very sugary. It doesn't need any more sugar. But I was sitting here debating about putting a flavor in there. 
Maybe like a pound cake? Let's do some pound cake. Never had a pound cake icing. All right, so we're using some of my pound cake. It only fills, let's see, you can't see me. It only fills that much when I first squeeze it, so we'll just do two of them. I don't want to overpower, I just want a hint of a pound cake flavor in there. Let's see, I did cake flavoring in it last time too. Um, but I think this time we're just going to go with what it tastes like. Tricky baby. Mm. Alright, now I poured in the butter we just melted. I'm gonna take it over there and blend it. So normally I would pour this into the ice cream maker and make ice cream, um, but I don't have time for that. So we're just gonna put this all in my fridge and I'm going to do it tonight. So it's already blended. And yes, there's two servings. I won't be eating both servings probably. <laughs> I say probably, just, you know, who knows. Most likely, I will not. Let me find somewhere that might fit. It doesn't fit in my, it doesn't fit in my fridge. Hold on. I need to find somewhere it could fit. I didn't realize how tall it was. How tall it was. So, I'm trying to find a space it could fit in. Give me a second. Okay, so go. I am going to make another one real fast to you. So, I've never had eggnog. Everyone says eggnog yummy. I've never had any kind of eggnog, so I'm going to use a pack of eggnog. I want to go ahead and try it because maybe I want to buy some for the month of December, but I don't know. I'm not an eggnog fan. What I'm a fan of is Kitty standing on my way while I'm trying to cook, and that's not happening. So I put two tablespoons of butter in this one. Um, we're about to go throw in four ounces of water. Well, we're going to do... Less than that because I'm going to throw in some heavy cream real fast. We're going to do, let me go to grams. We're going to do two servings. All right, so this has a lot of fat in it, in my opinion. Two tablespoons of butter and two servings of heavy cream. So I'm going to go over here. Go in the 14 ounces of water and blend it on the blender. Okay, so I kind of tasted uh, when I was mixing it, and I'm not a huge fan. So I ended up adding some cinnamon, and I added a little tiny, like, not even a whole, probably a serving of the gingerbread latte. Just a tiny bit, because I don't know what it tastes like. It was really strange tasting to me. But I've never had eggnog, so I can't compare it. And it's hot. Oh, that's so much better putting the gingerbread in there. So, I am going to let this one get cold and I'll make ice cream with this tonight too, probably. And this weekend, before this weekend, I'm going to, I've ordered me some of those freezy things I was talking about. Hold on, let me turn you all around. All right, so I've ordered some of like two things of um, little quart things to put in the freezer. It's supposed to freeze better than um, the little plastic things I'm going to use today so that I can have it ready for this weekend because I am going to definitely be doing keto chop ice cream for sure this weekend. So I need that going. I need to have it because sometimes I just get lazy. But if I have it all ready to go, I have no excuse to be lazy. I got keto chop all over me. So, oh, look what came too. I did get one of these. I was trying to get the free one and that didn't happen because my internet, even though I was trying to check out a, literally at 1201, um, my internet just wasn't having it. So I ended up buying this. I've been dying to buy one and just didn't. It comes with straw attachments for this one, but I'm not a big straw fan. So I will mostly be using this bad boy. So yeah. I'm excited about it. Okay, so I just throw it into my little Quiznar um, ice cream maker for about 20 minutes. I've already done this one. 
This is the eggnog. I'm having it for dinner. It's the one serving. This is the two serving vanilla that will be frozen that I can eat tomorrow and then some Saturday because, you know, tomorrow is crack barrel probably salad day and then after that it is three days keto chow and eggs and, and bacon if I have it in butter. So I'm going to eat this now. It is eight o'clock. Okay. So since it is day two of Vlogmas, we're going to put my little Christmas tree together. Yes, little because I have big, beautiful Christmas trees that I can't use because cats decided to start eating them yesterday and I'm afraid they're going to get sick or have to have emergency surgery or something because they get a blockage. So baby Christmas tree way up high. So I went to Walmart and I picked up this $20 pre-lit little crappy tree. Then I have gone to the Dollar Tree and got some decorations that if they destroy, I won't cry. And, and they are plastic so they can't hurt themselves by, you know, shattering glass. So that is what we're going to do right now. Can we make this look pretty? A $20 Walmart tree with some Dollar Tree decoration. So, let's get started. We're gonna go in with our first garland. Dino is staring at me. Come on, honey. I usually wouldn't do this on cam, so hold on. Let me get a little better angle so y'all can see this better. There we go. There we go. What, honey bunny? I'm probably gonna have to move this picture, y'all. Does that mean we're getting small presents this year? No, honey. It just means the kittens you are have miniature presents? little assholes. <laughs> I mean, they're adorable, sweet little kittens. What am I saying? Okay. I always do on my channel. Do you? the kids' It's not much for children, so. I don't think that's how you really put it on, but okay. Yes, it is. It's Garland. What are you talking about? And don't just sit there and tell me what to do. I hate that with men. Nothing drives me crazier than when a man sits there and tries to boss you around on their asses. He tried to boss okay, me so, around. Shut up. So remember, he tried um, to boss me around today when I was staining the like to so I wanted to punch him. The right way? No. I'm saying, you know? He's trying to choke a tree with a um, stuff, but... You're stressing me out. <laughs> you make everything uh, unjoyable. Are, are you trying to put it in the middle? No, I'm just trying to put it wherever I want to try to fill in to make the tree look prettier because the tree's ugly. Hey! Well, it's cheaply made, so. She's ugly, she's pretty. She's ugly. The inanimate object is ugly. Hey. Well, I have a beautiful tree and it's killing me. I can't use it. I'm just putting some color into it. All we're doing right now. Can't even use fake so, no. No. No offense or anything, anybody, but I, I kind of call it, even though to me it's it's well worth it. I call it the poor man's. Um, hey. The, the poor man's tree. <laughs> no, I mean no. I'm not being mean or anything about because like the stuff they have for a dollar is like stuff you buy out for like like ten, twenty bucks. Yeah, but how does that make it a poor man's tree? Because it's a dollar. That's what I'm saying. A poor man tree is is like awesome. It's, it's, it looks great, but it's cheap. It'll look fine once I get stuff on there. Okay. Uh, Leave it alone. I'm working by myself. <laughs> so, don't make me start lying. As I was saying, I was staying in the board today. And he was saying they're bossing me around, but yet he wasn't staying it because he didn't want to get dirty. Like, I need someone to boss me around. And my dad was trying to boss me around, around, around about staining it too. Staining is not hard. It's like painting. Just put it on there. You don't need to boss someone around. I get you, Dad. You're splashing. Do it this way. Do it that way. I wasn't splashing. You weren't even near me. That's how you paint. And you weren't. You don't flip it there. But you I didn't want him to get you on your clothes and stuff. Well, what but that's my life. Yeah. Show people your dollar stuff. No, because it goes Look, in the video that tomorrow. Was a dollar. And you gotta, no, it's to me, that's fancy for a dollar. Tomorrow we're going to make some reefs. Um, okay. I'll show you the reefs Dino made. But me and my daughter is going to make one tomorrow. 
Yeah, I was gonna make another one, but apparently we didn't go by there again, so I was like, whatever, you know? You could got the stuff at the other Dollar Tree. That was the point. Oh, what is that? I am missing some of the ornaments and stuff I bought, so I gotta figure this out. Alright, so I bought this, I bought all this stuff originally for my front porch, because I got a bigger tree on it. But, like I said, my kittens are jerks. Doesn't matter. I sprayed it with vinegar, I sprayed it with that other stuff. They don't care. Okay, they will lick the vinegar. Sour smells, does nothing to them. Blowing air, does nothing to them. Making noises, yelling, stomping. No, mm -mm, these things are not phased. But see, Dina makes a lot of noise all the time. Out of nowhere. So start lowering them. Never count. They can see, baby. So tell me what you do. No, I'm just saying. I'm just telling you what to do. I know, so shut up. Alright, so, the little cheap skirt for a dollar. It's all pretty, and yes, these are from the Dollar Tree too. Alright, which balls do I want to use first? These ones? Or these ones? We'll go with these two. The silver one, Haley wants to use. All right, so these are all plastic. So if we knock them down, it'll be okay. And those are not glue or something. Yeah, they do. They do? Uh -huh. Um, about the glitter ones. They'll be fine. Everything in this house is glitter. My life is glitter. Where he sits and laughs at everything I tell him or do. I'm trying to make cooking videos and he's sitting in here laughing. I'm trying to eat my keto chow and he's laughing at me as I'm eating it. Can you taste? Yes, you do. He stares at me and laughs and makes me feel good and comfortable. And then he's like, I'm not laughing at you. Then who are you laughing at? No one else is in the room. Are you laughing at imaginary ghosts? Yeah. He thinks he's funny. Alright, so let's put a few more red ones on and then we're going to go in with some other colors. Come on, balls. Get out here. I think it's looking kind of cute. So, so far we got one, two, three dollars on the tree. So our little tree is now twenty-three dollars. What is that? I stepped on something on the floor. Mm -hmm. Be careful, man. I wish YouTube didn't have like copyright issues on music and all that. Oh no, I'm gonna be playing Christmas music in the background. Oh no, no, but I wish they never had something like that because yeah. when it first started, it was cool. You could dance to songs and do whatever. And, and now it's like oh, copyright issues. Okay. Now, yes, I have seen some really cute ways to make these decorations pop more, but because of the kittens, I'm kind of just not doing it. All right, let's go in with some green. I know I really want to be playing Christmas music now, but I can't. But you'll hear some. I am going to put some in the background that is through YouTube. Technically, when I put these green ones up there, I still wouldn't have used a whole tube. It's just there was no tube with red and green, so I had to buy separate ones. There is a couple ornaments at the end that I'll be sticking on, which is more money, though. I got them from Walmart for $2 a piece, and I'll show you all soon. Now, when I go and do the outside one, I will record it too, but it'll probably look different because I want to let my daughter design that one. She wants to do it. She wanted to design this one, but I had already made plans for this one. I really want to use my big ones. That's what I really want. I'd be so happy. So happy. 
Does the big one look like that? No, the big one goes to the ceiling. It's gigantic. It takes this whole space up and it's white and it has berries on it and it has pine cones on it and it's on I got pictures every year for the last five years I've used it. I love it to death. Plus when monsters, three little monsters. That's not possible and a lot of my ornaments are glass for the other tree. Okay, so we got our green going, now we gotta get some gold. Oh, that one too. Mm -hmm. so no. I have to keep it as flat as possible. I'm gonna be pushing it even back a little farther. So I need that back not to have one. Because of the kids. So who's all got Christmas trees out? I know there are people that don't put Christmas trees out at all for religious reasons or just personal reasons. So if you do put Christmas trees out and you're on my Facebook group, let's go load the Facebook group with our Christmas decorations. Load it down with some pictures. I'm going to do some from this year and if I can find last year's, I think I'm gonna put some up from last year's because I love my tree. Um, can't get in it, honey. Are you having a problem? Do you want me to come do it? <laughs> he can't get in it. Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> Those are beautiful, dude. I like it. Pretty. You're so mean. No, I do. I like it. It's pretty. You did a good job. Is it done? No. Oh, okay. Oh. No, I scissors I'll be right back all right so so far we have used one whole tube of the ornaments but because like I said I want different colors I've gotten three different tubes out Like I said, tomorrow's video is going to be making wreaths from the Dollar Tree. I feel like we should have a tree competition from the Dollar Tree. Hi, baby. Well, if you really want to do a Dollar Tree tree competition, then we have to buy the Dollar Tree tree. I have a Dollar Tree. I know we do. I should have bought me a green one. Hannah bought her a green one and a white one. All I bought me was a white one. And yours is a white one. I was going to use mine for something else, but I guess I can use it on the camera. Mm-hmm. I think I don't think I should buy another one just to fill in the empty spaces on the other one. So sometime this week a video will be the Dollar Tree Christmas tree. And I mean the actual tree you can go buy. It's very tiny and cute for a dollar. And that's going to be in this week's video as well. Kayla's going to do two of hers up. She's already done one, so we'll just take a video of it. 
and then she's got a white one she's gonna do, and I just realized I could do side by side. That will drive me crazy. So we have a well, no, but we can show our different views on different units. He likes everything to be a competition. Okay, I want to add some more greens in here. Said for, I mean, I, I don't care if people think I'm crazy or not, but for a dollar, geez, these are these are pretty fancy for a dollar. And if you have new kittens and you don't want your stuff destroyed, they're a dollar. No, if you have or new, toddlers. If you have cats, you don't want your stuff destroyed. Don't get a tree. No, <laughs> you're horrible. No, not get down, especially a big one. Or tie it down, strap it down. I don't know. That's a lot of ornaments got going on there, baby. Yeah, it's a Christmas tree. Christmas tree. Do you want it bare and ugly? No. I don't want so. I don't like bare and ugly. I like cool and beautiful. What do you got this little axe? It's a dollar, and the tree was twenty dollars. See the tree I can deal with. What's wrong with the ornament? Hold on, he doesn't like me doing this on camera. Okay, so basically I wish they came this way, red and green together, because I only used one full tube and a half with the gold. So technically it was a dollar. But if we want to do, because it's all separate, but see, I'm using the other stuff for my other, um, my wreath. I have some other ornaments that were meant for my wreath, but I might go ahead and put on this tree. Let's see. I don't know if I want silver to add to it or not. This one's for my wreath. Really easy to pull off if I don't like it. Probably not to lock the camera. It's really hard to show me while I'm actually doing this stuff. I'll take one second to pull it back off if I don't like it. So I guess the best thing to say is like, um, you know, everybody has their own way of decorating or ornaments and stuff well, like that. Well, this is cheap and... Oh, no, no, it's, it's not that. This isn't really my style, usually. No, it's not that. I mean, like, hey, you know, like, people decorate their own ways and tastes and stuff. So it's just all about the Christian spirit, guys. So, and like she said, it's a dollar. These things are real pretty for a dollar. I mean, if I had two of them, it would work better, but that's the only one I bought. Okay, so we are at one, two, three, four, five. Five dollars of decoration or on the skirt. So we're at six dollars for this so far. Plus the tree. So we're at twenty-six dollars for Christmas. Well. Well what? I'm not done yet for what? Oh no, because technically it's, it's probably less than that because you used um it is, yes, yeah. it is less. Yeah. Technically, it is only like one, two, three, four dollars. About four dollars. Because I'm going to use a lot of the extra side for the reefs that we're going to do in tomorrow's video. Is the tree going to stay there? Yeah. Oh. Then, what do you mean, oh? Oh, no, nothing. Really. Of course, that's, I needed it up high so the cats won't get to it. They haven't jumped this high yet. Ah. They have not jumped up here. Uh, Willow is a ninja. Not Willow, um, Sharky is a ninja. Yeah, but so far it's been okay, so stop jinxing. Well, they can't really grip the paws in that thing, so. Yeah, that's why they haven't been able to do it. But I love my pictures, so I might have to rearrange the pictures real fast. Let me see. Yeah. 
So I'm confused. Is that an elf? It's a gnome. It's a Christmas gnome. He's got a thing against Christmas gnomes. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to go over that there. Good. Is, is this a, well, he I, thinks I, gnomes are bad. Well, the history of gnomes is gnomes are, are evil and we're terrible. Um, does a whole bunch of stuff, but I never did see. Uh, I guess because I was just from Hawaii, we didn't have gnomes and stuff. But it, it was nothing to do with gnomes. Gnomes is like I don't know. Mm, I'm not sure that's gonna stay there, but that's there right now. All right, do you guys have it? That's I'm not her done. Tree. I'm not done. What are you talking about? We are not done. We're You're gonna see my tree when it's done, guys. You know. We're just moving pictures right this minute. Oh, that looks much better. I'm totally not done. He always likes to rush me off camp. No, um, hey, that looks much better, but try to move the tree on the side a little bit. Which way? Like, like, like take it off the stand? No. <laughs> You're a mean person. What? Stop being a bully. Okay, these pictures are, the pictures is not from the Dollar Tree, but they're really um, cool looking. It's a real Christmas tree. Yeah, they're from the Christmas, Christmas tree Christmas. shop. They were yeah. really cheap last year. Yeah. So the pictures are from the Christmas tree shop. The wreath. Our daughter made, I do believe, right? Yeah, that one she made like four years ago. I wasn't here four when it happened, ago. but she made that one, which is, looks real pretty. And the tree, um, somebody made? Oh, a tree. <laughs> I do want to get those pre Oh, shoot. You want to do a close-up of the presents? Because I I'm think that's pretty yet. cool. Hold on. I'm trying to decide if I want to use some of these on it. I think it's too big. Okay, these are for, from the Dollar Tree as well. Like Let I said, me get scissors. Go ahead and talk. Uh, it's on. Like I said, it's um for the price to me it's pretty good quality, but I know the tree looks pretty okay, but we're gonna have a competition coming up anyway. We're not having a competition. And, um, you make everything a competition and I hate that. <laughs> oh, you should make it a topper since the top's all bent and I mean <laughs> since the top's a little tilted. Where is my topper? I have a topper. For the <laughs> he likes to tease and bully no, me all the no, time. The tree is a, it's like it's pretty, it's pretty. Okay, Look, here we go. Here's I have a whole entire closet that's nothing but Christmas. Villages, everything you could ever name, but cats, okay? Cats, honey, cats. Oh, that's not going to work. That's going to fall right off. Let me see. There is no way this topper is going to work. Bend that top part. The long part. It bend it in half. There you go. Make it skinny. Yeah, there you go. It's the lights in the way. All right, hold on. And yes, this came from the Dollar Tree, but my daughter doesn't like it. She wants to glitterify it. I'm going to get y'all up close more because you can't really see right now. She wants to glitterify that for me. So. Okay, let's see. Do I want to put some of these on here or are they overpowering it? That's overpowering Too it. Too big. So these we got there too. I'm going to be doing my porch and decorating my porch, which I will finally be able to see once it's all done because that's the Christmas present to myself is to have a Christmas porch. So let me show you what I got at Walmart for a dollar. It was supposed to go on my big Christmas tree, but we're going to put it on the baby one. I don't care if it's fake, honey. I want to use them. No, I saying you can uh, also stand up too if you wanted to stand it up. Mm, it will be standing That'd be cool if you could make like a little skating rink of those things or something, like a skating rink out of cotton. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we have cats. Oh, you have cats. And we have cats. Oh, uh, I mean. Yes, you do. Not my cats. You brought them here. I have videos of you saying, oh, but I love Shirky. I'll take care of him. Blah, blah, blah. He'll be my baby. He claims that never happened. Well, it's not that. I mean, I love them, but to a certain point where, you know, like they bug you and you're like sleeping. Like every single day he wants stuff. me to get rid of them. That's all I hear. Are I'm we just saying you can get... Today? I'm just saying. I'm just saying you want to die. 
You can't bring in babies and make me fall in love with them and then try to take them so, away. So, um, this Christmas we're donating cats. No, we're if not. Anybody wants some cat? No, we're not. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't. Yeah. What else you got? The snowman? I I got Ta -da! Santa. And how much was Santa? Two dollars. Dollar mm. ninety eight Walmart. I love the dollar eight. 98 Christmas section. I always buy them every year like different ornaments in there. So this is a Christmas section at Walmart Well, our Walmart. We're not sure if you guys yeah, might have the same. Every Walmart has them. Yeah, but some Walmarts might be sold out or something Well, yeah, but I'm just saying they still sell but them. But yeah, that's where she got And these were meant to that. go on my other tree I, I think I can see that. That's cool. Is that the same one? Yeah, I like to buy two I'm a two person with all my ornaments I don't know, they look kind of big. <laughs> Maybe I should just stick with putting Santa's on the front porch. On the bigger tree. I don't know, I think they're too big. No, they, that's good. No. It has all the empty spots in between. No, they drive me crazy. Too big. Okay, so we are basically at two, four, five, seven. six, seven, eight. $9.50, so $10. So this tree total right now is $30. Plus these over here would be $33. So, yeah. And originally, I was going to put these on. They were a dollar from the Christmas tree shop, but I think they're just way too big. We have a tree that's bigger than this that's going on the front porch, and I think I'll use all this up there. I'm trying to think about anything else. I have some from last year that I bought for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Let me look. Let me say, oh, I could put some of these on there. So these are just add ons, stuff I had already. Don't worry, it's not real candy cane, guys. It has some bits <laughs> of it. It's these fake things, whatever it is. Fake candy cane. Is it plastic? Yep. There you go. And we sell the big ones at the Dollar Tree right now that you put in your yard. Okay, I think I think that's it for it. I don't think it's that bad for the price we paid. Let's plug it in. Oh, show me a fancy Christmas plug. It's just, it's just yeah, a candy cane. Candy cane plug. All right, let me, let me turn you all around. Okay, for $30, 33 counting these three things here, I think that is decent. So if you have a little apartment or you're alone and don't want to use a big tree or have a million reasons why not, the tree is $20 at Walmart. You can get color lights of white. I didn't see the color lights until after I ordered this one. And then you can go get all your ornaments from uh, the Dollar Tree and save a bunch of money. I do not think it's bad for the price. Like, at first I didn't think I was gonna have any kind of Christmas tree this year. All right, so Dina was stressing me out in my opinion because hey. I, get, I get frazzled easy. And I forgot all the other Dollar Tree ornaments that I bought. So these will be going on the other tree, but I wanted to show y'all. We'll also go in like on my porch and different things. I even have another little present, which I'm gonna put over here probably. Um, I love these right here. The ski things, which actually might fit in this tree. I might stick some in for a second. Cover that spot. My baby, this is what I'm stressed about. You just make fun of everything I do. I make food, he makes fun of it. I create something, he makes fun of it. I worked so hard cleaning the house and he still made fun of it. I didn't make fun of anything else. You're like, why are you doing it that way? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's teasing because. I don't want to clean that 
yesterday. Nuh-uh. And you know Remy Bisa. Why? Yeah, every time I clean the counter, you get mad. Yeah, oh, because he's throwing my receipts away and my point and stuff away, and now I've lost stuff permanently because he throws stuff away. But it's stuff. not trash, and I keep telling you it's not no, trash. I just throw other stuff. All right, so she's putting the skis on? Here? Yeah, if I can get them on here. Okay, some skis on? Yeah, since we got skiing, um, snowmen, why not? No, there's nothing wrong with that. Just letting people know what you're doing. Kind of want them sideways. Let's move this over here. Cool. Not so bad. Not bad. I'll let y'all come closer in a second. I'm gonna have another bag. I'm gonna see what's in the other bag real fast too. Those presents I do like. That's we're like kind of Christmassy. I mean, it's, it's Christmassy. It says Merry Christmas. Yeah. It's red and green, and the presents. I think they're Christmassy. No, what I mean is like um, I wish I had that um other kind of material. That it was wrapped with uh, the plastic one. Mm. Okay, then I have some earrings. Things. Oh, those are big earrings, honey. You gonna put these are on? going on the other tree. That would make great earrings, honey. So all these came from the Dollar Tree. These are going on my wall. I have a whole set of stuff oh, I bought for the wall outside. I just got an idea. Whole set? What? Well, I'll let you show some stuff. Um, I got some white balls. Ooh. My antlers, I wish I had bought more of. I kind of really like them. I'm thinking maybe I That's should put antlers? them in here. Well, no, I guess. Tree. Um, I don't it's know what they are. I it's guess they're a tree. tree. They were in the deer antler area, so that's why I thought yes, I, I mean, it's it cool. There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm saying. Dollar. But I think these are going on the other tree. Dollar. And I got this big boy. That's scary. It looks like glass. That's and plastic. I have two of these and a white one. Check stuff. I'll show you, that would be kind of pretty just sitting here instead of hanging from a tree. Yeah. Which I really don't know because I might need it on the other tree. We'll see. As you can see, I'm just having some fun. Just having some fun. So far, the babies are sleeping and not messing with me. Oh. I don't know if they can see it or not, but she did turn the pictures on the light right there. So the picture lights up in back of her. So if you're wondering what that yeah. is. She got that a couple years ago, she said. She forgot how much it was at the that time. That was a Cracker Barrel a very long time ago. A Cracker Barrel a long time ago. But, yeah. Th that, I think, is pretty cool because, it, yeah, there's actually lights in it. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to use this in here or outside. I buy the cheap flowers, and then I normally, I probably need my wire cutters. <gasps> yeah, there we go. So, I buy, Something. yeah, I buy cheap flowers to put in the tree. But I don't know if I'm going to use them in this tree or just the one outside. So you just, you just put them in the tree. But I think this tree has so much stuff in it that it would do better out in the outside tree. But yeah, I got some of these too. This is all Dollar Tree stuff. I might have went a little crazy at the Dollar Tree. Just saying. All right. So, did you happen to get any of the miniature ornaments? No. Oh. Okay, well, next time we go to the, to the Dollar Tree, I'm getting these miniature ornaments. And you guys can actually make it into earrings. Because it's a little bitty ornaments. It's actually made into an earring. Oh, that's what Haley does. Oh, the show that one. That's a pretty one. So these are not Dollar Trees. These came from oh. Hobby Lobby. And every year, me and my daughter go pick special um, How much was it? ornaments. I don't know. It didn't say. Mm -hmm. We pick special ornaments to put on our various bits of tree. We buy one a year. Um, that one she picked, and she picked this one, which we definitely cannot put out because of the cats. Um, this is gonna have to save for next year. I forgot why she liked that. She was from like a it cartoon just, or something. She likes weird stuff. She likes weird stuff. Okay, then. I feel like mine should go in the middle of the tree. Do you even remember what you got? Yes. What? This one. Which is? Show people the prettiness of mine. Hold on. So is this an ornament thing? You buy one every year from whatever. I forgot about my jar. No, not. All right. Like keto candy or something. This is the one Dino got. I just thought it was cool. Well, it's very country, and I love country. Well, to me, it's kind of like plain and simple, not too standing out, kind of like in between. It's you know hope. Well, who doesn't need hope, you know? Well, everyone needs hope this year. Yeah, um, bro, with that virus going on everywhere, yep. 
We call it the C word. Oh, the C word? Yeah, so no one gets in trouble. I call it the Coco. We call it the Coco. Uh, they're just going to come get all these. Watch. Watch tonight. I'm going to be yelling, no, kitties, no. And mine for the tree this year. Let's show me yours. Is a mask. It's not very Christmassy, but it does it look pretty is. cool. It is. Oh, I think it's Christmassy. Well, I think it looks cool, but yeah, I think it looks good. Though. It's not going to go on. Are you trying to stab it through the eye? Yeah, the <laughs> yeah, I usually will stab through. Hey. Oh, honey. Oh, and there's like some stabbing through an eye and stuff. My baby. Right so here. a tree basically is what whatever you got is the owner mercy guys one put on it. Everybody got their own thing, own style. Yeah, because sometimes on my big ones, sometimes I would put my I had these on my big ones sometimes with my little belly and stuff. So it all depends on what your taste is. I feel like we won't be having two trees. Why? Hmm? Why? Mm -hmm. Well, when my big ones have to take the whole room. But this is it. Voila. All done up with a few extra things. So these came from the Dollar Tree as well, and I forgot about them. So that was another $2. And then Hope was $2 that day at Hobby Lobby. Mine was $1.50 at Hobby Lobby. I don't remember how much my daughter's little thing was. It didn't have the price on it. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty decent if we can keep the gas off of it. So, tomorrow's video will be homemade wreaths using Dollar Tree stuff. We're doing Dollar Tree crafts this week. The poor man's Christmas. Hey! <laughs>